What's up dolls? Welcome back to the channel for another speed build. <laughs> so today I once again went way way out of my comfort zone and I built something I've never done before. Ever. Not in The Sims 1, Sims 2, not in The Sims 3 or 4. I've never done this style before, this architectural style before. I've always kind of wanted to, like, I wanted, it looks super cool. It looks freaking amazing. But since it's also a style that I'm not familiar with, like, at all, I've kind of put it off. It, it, it's felt a little bit intimidating trying. Uh, so I kind of put it off until now. And I am so happy, guys, that I challenged myself to get out of my box and try this because it, it was a lot of fun, okay? <laughs> I had a ton of fun building this and just, um, okay, just wait and see you guys till you see this build <laughs> at night time because it looks magical, I'm telling you looks magical uh, but yeah i'm basically building an asian food market so if your sims fancy some delicious asian foods this is the place to be and i call it an asian food market because my thought was that they sell all kinds of asian foods here like from foods from all over asia uh, but then when it comes to the architectural style of the builds i guess it was mostly inspired by like Japanese architecture uh, but again I want to say that I'm not too familiar with this style so if I got it wrong okay I'm sorry <laughs> I'm very sorry I blame Google because you know that's where I got my inspiration from so if there's something you don't like blame Google <laughs> basically anyway uh, I'm building this in San Maishuno because I really really wanted that city background um this build is supposed to look like you know, it's in the city, a part of the city, it's like, it is its own little district or street, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I don't know, it would look so weird with this uh, build in the middle of the woods in Windenburg, because, guys, I'm gonna make this build pop. I'm gonna make it stand out. Uh, it's gonna, like, shine brighter than the moon, because I'll, I'll basically be adding as many neon signs, neon lights, as I possibly can. And I'm telling you again, like, it looks magical at night. Um, but yeah, it's supposed to look like, you know, a very busy street that is open 24-7. So that's kind of why it fits in, in Samaishuno. And also, Samaishuno is kind of like my one of my favorite worlds. I guess Brinson Bay is my favorite. But I love Samaishuno. And this lot specifically, I chose this lot because it is it has some beautiful scenery. So you got a, the water here, it looks amazing. And then you got like the massive bridge in the background and you can see it like the entire city on the other side. And that's one loud car. <laughs> and I just love this lot so much. It has beautiful scenery. So I kind of wanted to place this, this, this build here. Also, it was the perfect size because I, I needed a 30 by 30. 30 by 30 is my favorite size and I wish we had more 30 by 30s. So please, please, can we get more 30 by 30s? I'll be so happy, okay? Uh, there's a whole, like we have a lot of worlds that don't have any 30 by 30s and that's unacceptable <laughs> in my opinion. No, but I love my 30 by 30s. I, I feel like they, they are the perfect size. Uh, so yeah, oh guys, so... Um, they have released the dates for the new updates and the new, well, the new uh, pack, expansion pack, we already knew. That's the 16th, but they released the date for when they are giving us the free update with the terrain tool. And I am so hyped. Uh, I think they said 13th. Yeah, November 13th, I think. <laughs> okay, I'm unsure right now, but I think it was um on the 13th uh so yeah that's only like three days away guys three freaking days and i'm so hyped because i got a bunch of builds planned <laughs> so i can't wait for that um so now we know just if just three days away we're getting terrain tools and then three days after terrain tools we're getting freaking a new pack <laughs> and i have so many build ideas and i can't wait to build guys oh, i'm so freaking hyped uh so yeah, stay, stay, stay tuned for that. <laughs> uh, but I have also suffered from like a major 
builder's block recently so i hope that's gonna be like gone as soon as we get new content but we'll see hopefully i do have a bunch of things planned anyway so i'm really freaking excited <laughs> so anyway we are, we're pretty much done with like the shape of this build like the exterior is pretty much done uh, but obviously we have a lot of decorating to do so this part for sure this is the part that took the longest the decorating placing all these signs <laughs> like seriously i don't even know how long this took but it for sure took a lot of time let me tell you so i did had to i did have to edit this quite a lot <laughs> i'm sorry but i i don't want this video to be too long you know so i did edit this quite <laughs> quite quite a lot I cut out a lot, uh, but if you want like closer looks at things, you know, take a look at the screenshots. Everything is there, uh, but you can see. Just take a look at how many freaking signs there are, and I'm not even done yet, guys. I'm gonna go in and add more later on, uh, and it, just look how cluttered this is. I had, even though it took a lot of time, <laughs> I had so much fun doing this. Y'all know if you've been following me, following me for a while. You know, I love clutter. I love cluttering up my builds. I find that so much fun. And this was just pure joy. <laughs> just placing all these signs, just going crazy. It's so me, so me. And I, I love this, I love it. But I did have to edit quite a lot of it out and I'm sorry about that, but you know, didn't want this video to be too long, you know. <laughs> but seriously, look at all these colors. I tried to go for mostly warm colors. That seemed to be a thing. But just all them colors, guys. And just, I, I'm gonna say this again. <laughs> this is like the third time I say this. But just wait until you see the screenshots and you see this place at nighttime. Because it, it lights up and it looks amazing. It looks magical. I can't even describe it. But it's beautiful. <laughs> I just love all those neon lights shining brighter, shining bright like a diamond. No, okay. Um, I don't, I don't listen to pop, but I know that song. <laughs> anyway, okay, this is getting out of hand. Focus. Um, so I've kind of jumped into the interior right now, as you can see, but I'm not fully done with the exterior and all the decorating yet i'll come back to that i don't know how much i show in the video but i'll come back and add a few more bits and pieces outside as well and i don't think i show you, showed you as much of uh, me decorating the back of the build but you know again it's gonna be all in the screenshots um but yeah i'll go out again <laughs> and add more things more signs of course just more clutter uh, but for now, I'm doing the interior. So first, as you can see, like these buildings, they're sectioned off, off, <laughs> off. And um, yeah, so we got like that, that, what you just saw. Okay, <laughs> I can't, I can't, brain, please. What, what I just furnished there, that was a restaurant, obviously. <laughs> I'm sure you could tell. And uh, because it's a food market, like all these little stores and shops and whatnot, like all these gonna be pretty much mostly food related. Uh, so we got that restaurant first off, and then here we got like this is also supposed to, supposed to be like a restaurant thing, uh, but I added a bar. But you know we can pretend they serve food. I don't know, but I wasn't like trying to make this a bar. It's supposed to look like a food place and not a bar, but I added a bar. <laughs> I'm sure y'all know what I mean, okay? I didn't want to use just the same objects, so just using that restaurant thing, I didn't want to do that. So instead, I added a bar in here to spice it up a little bit. I don't know. And a lot of these builds, like a lot of these smaller shops and stuff, they're they're gonna be pretty tiny, and that was intentional. Uh, some of the shops are super tiny, uh, but again intentional because like the inspiration pictures i was looking at like there were a lot of super tiny shops like there was this spice shop and it was super tiny but it was just like filled with spices and it looked so freaking cozy and i don't know it really got me in the mood to buy spices you know so good market marketing it worked 
Uh, so yeah, we got two. We got. I mean, this is kind of a bigger place, but you can also see the smaller shops there. I'll get to those in a second. Uh, but yeah, so this place is a little bit bigger, and I placed two food stalls in here, and I know they're not gonna be usable, guys. Don't yell at me in the comments, okay? They're purely for decoration. <laughs> I just thought it looked really cute putting those in there. So I decided to do that even though they're not functional. And if it bothers you, you can just remove them and place maybe a bar in there instead. But I decided to place two food stalls because I thought it looked cute. <laughs> okay. And then obviously adding a bunch of places to sit. And as you can see, I'm going again with like the warm colors, the warm browns, the warm oranges and reds and... I'm not usually a fan of like warmer colors. I'm usually a, well, I shouldn't say that, but I usually tend to go for cool colors, uh, cool, cool toned colors. I like cool toned purples and grays. So that's my thing. But I'm really digging the warm colors in this build. It looks very cozy and like inviting and it makes me happy looking at it. It is weird. It's a build in The Sims, but it makes me happy. Uh, so yeah, that was that restaurant thing. And then we got another one here. You can see this one is a lot smaller. Uh, you got a bar that is open towards the street. So you can choose if you want to sit by the street and eat your food or if you want to go inside, but it's pretty small inside, but you know, whatever, <laughs> whatever you want. So I, I think it's so, it's so cozy, guys. <laughs> I don't know. And all the colors, I usually don't like mix a lot of colors in my builds i tend to go for like one color theme and then maybe add one more color so i usually go for two colors and this build is like very in your face with the colors and i don't know i should do this more often guys i because i love it i've done two builds in a row that both were totally out of my comfort zone and i had so much fun building them so maybe i should do this more often like building things i've never built before because it's a lot of fun trying new things. So I should do that. I should do that more often. And I also want to do another one of these market kind of builds. Maybe not Asian next time, but like I do want to make another market kind of build, like a food market kind of build, because it, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> and I've been really enjoying these builds where you put two buildings or two or more buildings on the same lot, you know? It looks really nice and you guys seem to really enjoy the last one i did uh the witch town which had like five i think different houses on the same lot uh, you guys seem to really enjoy that build so maybe i'll do more of these i think so i'm pretty sure i'll do more um and yeah oh just rambling now okay so the last shop that you just saw me um uh, furnish <laughs> that was like an exotic fish shop and it was very tiny, but I don't know. I just think it's very charming, like these smaller shops. They're very charming and I love when they have like shelves stacked with like spices and stuff. <laughs> I don't know. I just think it looks so cozy. I don't know. I love small shops. And um, you don't. we don't get many of them around here at all. Like it's mostly just supermarkets and stuff, so... I don't know it's one of those things when i travel <laughs> that i just really love visiting like small private owned shops private owned shops i just i just love them especially especially when they're like this tiny and cozy like it, it's very cute in uh, that shop that i just finished that one was spices i think <laughs> so we got one exotic fish shop one spice shop and then this, I just, okay, this is not food related. <laughs> I don't know why, but I really felt like doing like a magazine job. So I just put in a, or a, I put in a few magazine racks and uh, yeah, I feel like I'm about to sneeze. Don't sneeze. Okay, I'm going to save it. <laughs> no, I don't want to pause. Uh, okay, I think I saved it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, so yeah, that was that. What else? Oh, no. Okay, changing posters, apparently. Uh, so, cars, please stop it. Okay, I don't know what to talk about. <laughs> oh, yeah, we got another one of these bars here. Well, it's supposed to look like a restaurant, an outdoors restaurant, but, you know, I use the bar for it. 
but we'll pretend <laughs> it's supposed to look like a restaurant. Um, and so what else is there? I think we're pretty much... No, okay. We have this here. Okay, I was struggling. I edit this so much because... I was struggling guys i really wanted to use that round table that aquarium table because it looks it looks amazing and i thought it fit very well in this build so i really wanted i was determined to use that table but since it's round it takes up a lot of space <laughs> accidentally deleted the room as well but yeah because it's round it takes up a lot of space but i was like no i'm gonna use this <laughs> so i played around with the layout quite a lot so that's why i edit that this part so much <laughs> but yeah i really wanted to use that table and i did so yeah i really love that table <laughs> it's cute but I, I had to scale it down even because it it's it's supposed to be even bigger than that but i scaled it down and i was able to fit it and i was very happy <laughs> uh okay so we're on to the last room uh, we do have i i do add toilets guys don't worry don't don't freak out in the comments already okay do add toilets that's the last thing i do though so up here, I decided to add some hookahs, like a hookah lounge or bubble blowers, I guess, in The Sims. I love these hookahs or bubble blowers. I, I think they look amazing. And I also add a karaoke machine up here. So when you're done eating and just want to have some fun, this is where you go. I thought so. And then you can sit outside too and look down and just... Uh, the view is amazing. <laughs> I love this. But yeah, uh, once I'm done with this, I'm going to add a few more where I'm going to add these, the bathrooms. And then I am pretty much done, guys. So I really hope you enjoyed this build, this Asian food market. If you did, please leave this video a big, big thumbs up. I would really, really appreciate it. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I'd be so happy if you did. Don't forget to follow my socials for updates and stuff. And yeah, I love you guys so, so very much. And I'll see you in my next video.